Uh, this is a demonstration of my four facet drill sharpener uh, presented in uh, Home Shop Machinist for January 2012. Uh, the controls for this unit are located in two spots. Part of the controls are on the uh, collet chuck holder. The, this is the chuck lock. This is the in-feed and index ring. It's locked to the uh, chuck this way and it includes the infeed control here. This fits and just drops onto the table in locating pins here. And the table uh, has a control here to set the primary facet angle. Uh, and the secondary facet angle, you just lift the table and this little triangle drops down. Uh, the same angle is used for uh, all secondary facets. Uh, and traverse uh, past the grinding wheel is handled with this uh, little lever here that just moves the, the uh, drill past the uh, wheel. Uh, to set it up, this is a, I put the, the uh, correct collet in the chuck. This is a number 23 drill, about 150 thousandths. You just make it finger tight. Use this little gadget to push on it and set the extension of the drill from the collet. Uh, tighten the collet. And then we use a, a separate jig uh, to set the uh, lips horizontal and also to set the extension of the drill. Uh, the, uh, the unit has a clear plastic uh, piece of Lexan here uh, that is used as a local reference for a horizontal. And you set the drill horizontal, you push it up till it touches you lock the uh, collet or the collet chuck, turn, push the uh, in feed in. It has to have a little extension of the in feed screw. Push it against the chuck, wind it against the index pin. There's a relief here for 180 degrees so we can index it, and the setup is complete. here, turn the power on, and we're, we're about set. So we turn the unit on, and we grind the secondary uh, facet first. Then we loosen the chuck, index, tighten the chuck, And we check to see if we're, we've ground this complete secondary facet and we have not. So we infeed a little bit. You have to loosen the chuck. We've set this, but it hasn't dropped down until we loosen this. We loosen that. And the secondary facet. Again. just a little more. Okay, that completes the secondary facet. So now all we do is we push the triangle, let it drop on the primary facet angle, and we don't change the infeed, it's, it will automatically line the facet up.
Okay, at this stage it needs just a fraction taken off of the secondary facet. So we go back to the secondary facet. Sometimes it lines up perfectly and sometimes it needs just a tad. And now it's perfect. And we're done really, but I'd like to add a secondary point angle. So we'll put it into this. We'll turn this off so we don't have an accident. We put it to the other angle for a secondary point and we have to scooch this forward. And what that means is we want to move the chuck forward without rotating it. So what we do is we move the index ring back and keep it against the index pin, lock it, loosen the chuck lock, push the chuck forward and and then do it again. And in this way we can move the drill forward without rotating it so we maintain uh, the facets horizontal. And it, we put the drill right up to the wheel and then we move it as much as required to get us to touch the wheel. And at this stage it's touching the wheel, so we lock this. We move this forward so that the index uh, control is against the back of the chuck so that it knows it, when we index that it will be in the same position as the other facet. And now we just put the secondary point angles on. The secondary point angles have the same angle as the uh, as the primary facet. And at this stage we truly are done. Uh, the drill sharpening is complete. And so we just remove it from the chuck. And that's it. Uh, the, the other possibility with this unit is that uh, this will uh, allow point splitting, but that would make the uh, video too long, so we'll leave that for another time.